Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Harang Choi and I am currently undergoing the USMLA journey. So, on today's video, I'm gonna talk about the scheduling permit because a lot of you guys actually asked me about the scheduling permit and how long it took me to actually obtain it in order for me to schedule for the step one exam. So, without further ado, let's begin. So, basically, what I did was back in November 15, 2020, I actually asked documents from my school. I requested for documents, but they haven't gotten back to me yet at the time. And so on November 16, 2020, I submitted the online application for step one. And basically on December 9, 2020, I found out from my school that my diploma won't be available until January, so the next month. So I was kind of like sad by the news, but I had to be patient because they said that it won't be available because as a graduate, you're supposed to submit your diploma to UCFMG in order for your credential to be verified before you get the scheduling permit. And so I was waiting for them and come January, I was actually bugging my school and not just myself, but my classmates who are who were going to apply for the USMLEs were also waiting for the diploma. And so by January 28, 2021, my school finally announced that our diplomas are ready and so we were really thrilled and February 4, 2021, our school informed us that the diploma, the diplomas were sent to ECFMG. So basically what they sent this time to ECFMG was the original diploma and our original diploma is in Latin, so which me means that we needed an English translated diploma. So they sent the original diploma, the English translated diploma, and the our transcript of records because that's also required by ECFMG. So those three documents our school sent to ECFMG by, via snail mail. Um, they used DHL and they gave us this copy of the package um, description and so I was able to track my package and so based on my um, tracking, based on the tracking number I verified that on February 8, 2021, so four days after they sent the documents, the diploma arrived in ECFMG. And around the time, people were saying that it's been taking rough, roughly four weeks for ECFMG to get back to them um, concerning the documents. And so I was waiting for four months, uh, four months, four weeks um, for them to respond back. However, they weren't sending me any email and so I kind of wondered why and I saw that people in my other group chat were getting theirs a lot earlier than I was getting mine and so I also realized that they sent email to ECFMG. So what I did around March 4, I uploaded my diploma and translated diploma to my ECFMG app. I actually made a video on how to use the app which is here on this video. However, they actually posted, ECFMG actually posted a new update on this yesterday on their website, on their news, saying that they are no longer updating the EC, my ECFMG app. And so if you want to upload your credentials through online, they provided like another new link on their website. So do go to that link if you have to upload your credentials. And then so... Yeah, that was March 4. I uploaded my credentials and then March 10, what I did was I emailed ECFMG because I haven't received any confirmation from them. And on the email, I made sure that I put my ECFMG ID there because that's their instruction on their website. And then I also attached my soft copy diploma and um, translated diploma on the email and then basically once you send an email to ECFMG there will be an automated reply saying that if it's about if your email is about the pathways do go check their website or something like that like that but you can just ignore that and then I got a, a reply from them two days after my email on March 12th um, saying that my this is the email and they basically told me that my request has been sent to uh, sent as a priority because they recognize that they did receive the credentials. So it's kind of weird because um, my school sent our diplomas to ECFMG on the same day, but some of my classmates got 
reply from ECFMG way earlier than others. So I don't know what kind of system they use, but if you're not getting your email from ECFMG, do email them informing them that you know that your credentials are already there, but you're not getting emails. And so, yeah. So March 16, 2021, I received another email from ECFMG that my credentials are received and they that they need verification from my school. So I emailed my school right there and then uh, about it, and my school verified on that the same on that same day, and I got another email on that day saying that my application is finally complete. But this doesn't mean they're giving me the scheduling permit um, right away. It specify on the email this is the email i got and basically basically on the email they said that i will be getting my scheduling permit soon but they didn't specify when and so i had to wait and because slots in korea were running out so fast and there's only one promatic center in korea and basically the dates for april may and june were running out really fast so i was kind of worried that they will be gone by the time I get my scheduling permit and so I emailed them again saying that I really need the scheduling permit as soon as possible but basically what happened was after March 16 I um, getting that email that the application is complete on March 21 five days exactly five days after them sending this email I got another email saying that uh, my scheduling permit is finally available so on that day I got the scheduling permit and I went to the Prometrix website and searched for dates. Unfortunately, when I checked, there were no dates available left for uh, April, May, and June. And so I was kind of trying to think what to do then. So uh, what I did um, also with my friends, uh, for my friends in Manila, they also did this. They searched every single day. On They went to the Prometrix website to check available dates because sometimes there are people who decide to move their date, scheduling date. Um, there are people who reschedule their exam date because they feel like they're not ready or they want to take it earlier or things like that. So once in a while, there are dates available. And so what I did was I checked maybe multiple times a day um, to check if there's an available date and so I did that until and at the same time I was also thinking should I um, if ever I really don't get any slot the only option I had was to fly to the United States to take the exam but in order to do that I had to change my um, exam location and things like that so I just thought that it's gonna be a complicated process and so I just waited and searched for a few days until March 24. Thankfully one single date appeared which was May 7 and then so I signed up for it like panicking really quickly because you know someone could easily take that um, slot right there and then and so I signed up for my May 7 and then scheduled my exam and that's basically what happened. So my advice to you is that if you are not getting an email from ECFMG after submitting your credentials, make sure to email them so that they can actually check whether they have received or your documents or not. Because it seems like, uh, I mean, I understand because ECFMG probably receives like tons of um, documents from all over the world, right? So it could be crazy, I bet. But... I'm not so sure what kind of system they use because I realized that um, some were getting it earlier, some were not, even if we did um, the same process. And so if you're not getting yours, make sure to email them and make sure to include your ECFMG ID number along with um, your credentials. So that's all for today. I hope you find this helpful. Um, I know that for some people it's not a big problem, especially for schools where they use online um, approval for credentials so yeah that's my experience and if you found this video helpful make sure to like comment and subscribe and as for my step one results if you're curious uh, I haven't received my score yet because of the score delay it's just kind of weird because I read on reddit that some people who took after May 3 actually got their scores but I haven't gotten mine yet so I'm just still waiting for it so we'll see once I get it how 
I did. It's just very anxiety inducing, to be honest, waiting for the score because you're just really nervous and unsure of what you'll see on that score report. But yeah, mm. let's hope for the best. Anyways, thank you for watching guys and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!